as we've all established by now, Reddit is one of the largest sites on the internet today. Recently, it surpassed even Facebook to take the throne of the third most widely used site on the web. With this, we know that you can come across just about anyone with any background scattered throughout the hundreds of thousands of subreddits available for us to browse. It's simply become the spot for finding just about anything. Need to figure out if a product really works? There's a post for that. Need to figure out what your upcoming interview is going to ask? There's a post for that. Need to find out some secret info about the upcoming Kingdom Hearts 3 that might not ever come out? You guessed it, there's a post for that. It's a simple yet highly effective hub of subsites that bring in people from all over the world to congregate and engage in constructive conversation about whatever topic you desire to discuss. The people you meet can range anywhere from a straight up jerk to someone completely genuine and kind and anywhere in between. Today's video will discuss the seemingly genuine Carl H, a user who put on a kind face to help out others online, but led an entirely different, twisted and sadistic lifestyle whenever he stepped away from the keyboard. Who exactly is Carl H? Back in late 2012 and into 2013, Carl H, also known as Carl Harold, was a revered and skilled Redditor, YouTuber, and programming instructor that sought to help out up-and-coming coders through these mediums. He was very active on multiple programming subreddits and his own website, Computer Science for Everyone. Through his YouTube channel, Carl had gained a significant following, amassing over 3 million views and over 25,000 subscribers. In general, Carl was very well respected and was considered a fantastic teacher that offered up direct lessons through multiple other applications such as Skype. At one point, he was even awarded Redditor of the Day. In November 2013, however, things would begin to take a strange turn. Carl would go completely missing in action from the internet, leaving his YouTube, Reddit, and website to sit inactive while his audience awaited his help. As expected, his following became increasingly confused as time went on, theorizing where Carl could be. This went on for a little while until people started discovering news articles about a certain child molester by the name of Carl Harold. It was later determined that, yes, this was the same Carl Harold that they had grown a liking to. At this time, Carl Harold was charged in Alabama with sexual torture, sodomy, aggravated child abuse, child pornography production, distributing child pornography, and allowing his child to be depicted in child pornography. Yes, one of his victims was his own nine-year-old son that he and his partner kept locked up for eight gruesome months. Police ended up finding more than 100 photographs of sexual torture of the child and could hardly bear to look in order to positively identify the boy. Carl didn't act alone either. He was accompanied through this operation by a Charles Dunavant, who was also charged with sexual torture, sodomy, aggravated child abuse, and exposing a person to an STD. Allegedly, Carl had moved to Huntsville, Alabama from Wyoming, and after doing so, allowed Charles to move in, thus spawning the ring of child pornography. After learning of this, Carl's entire following was thrown into shock. The man that they thought they once knew as a friend and a revered instructor was nothing more than a sick and twisted monster that ran a perverted and sadistic lifestyle offline. Reactions to this ranged from enragement to complete denial. As the months went on, evidence against Carl would grow larger and larger, and his former audience sat back in shock as he proceeded to deny all of these charges that were stacking up against him. And it just got worse and worse. A year later, in November of 2014, Carl was set to go on trial for charges in New York when he was found hanged in his jail cell. Now that Harold has passed away, the case against him can't move forward. Carl Philip Harold is dead, says Assistant District Attorney Jason Scully Clemens. Harold was found hanged in a federal holding cell while in the custody of U.S. Marshals. He ended up in Clay County, in custody in Clay County at the, at the time of his death. Uh, but he was going to, to New York to face federal child porn charges there. 
He took the easy way out to avoid facing endless charges and a lifetime of imprisonment, and his former audience was even more enraged, taking their frustrations of his cowardly choice out on him through his YouTube video comments and posts that were all over Reddit. Carl, unfortunately, left a history behind on the internet, and everything, his subreddit, YouTube page, and post history, is there for you all to see forever. Except that the story doesn't exactly stop there either. Carl sent out Reddit posts just last year. They read, Hi, it's me from heaven. As I posted a thread on 4chan, you can read about this. Yes, this is Carl Harold. I escaped from a morgue and am currently in Russia. I'm going to submit an AMA for proof. I did, in fact, fake my suicide. People, expectedly, responded to this with comments of surprise, anger, and corrections that he escaped from hell, not heaven. Anyway, he also sent out a post saying that he was going to begin rehosting the Computer Science for Everyone website. However, that seems to have fallen through. Carl's entire AMA stint never ended up happening, and the content of those recent posts have since been deleted. It was likely a hacker playing some sort of joke, but that, nonetheless, is still unverified. The story of Carl Harold solidifies the idea that you can never truly know who you are interacting with online. The people that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis could be what you perceive as completely genuine. However, when that keyboard is pushed back and that monitor is turned off, lives are completely different and separate from what we think we know of each other on the internet. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find anything about Carl's son, and I only hope that he's okay and has received proper help to get through this agonizing year of his life. So what do you think? Is Carl indeed dead, or is he in Russia? To close, I'd like to thank all of you for joining me in this profile investigation. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all, and good night.